Now we will discuss about the left atrium. Here in this diagram you can see this is left atrium. There are four openings of the pulmonary veins which opens into the left atrium. It has a small extension known as this is left auricle. This left auricle is present here. This is left auricle. This is left auricle. This left auricle develops from the primitive atrium. That's why it is rough and it has musculi pectinati and the rest part develops from absorption of the pulmonary vein during embryonic life. That's why large area of the left atrium is smooth. There are four openings as you have seen and if you open this chamber then you will find there are small veins these are the veni cardis minimi like in the right atrium veni cardis minimi and here is inter ventri inter atrial septum this septum lies between the right atrium and between the left atrium here here is fossa orbelis this is fossa orbelis sorry fossa orbelis if you see from the opening of the right atrium if you see this from opening of the left atrium at the site of fossa ovaris there is a bulging known as fossa luneta if you see from that side then there is a, oh, there is a bulging that is known as fossa luneta Opposite to this, there is fossa luneta. So here, this is fossa ovaris, and on left side, this is fossa luneta. So this is all about the chambers. There is a trioventricular orifice here. A small portion I uh, showing here. This part. This is a trio left ventricular orifice, which is guarded by mitral wall. If you Cut this wall, then you will find this. Here is mitral wall, you have bicapsid wall. So, this is opening through which left atrium opens into the left ventricle. 